and Makati. So I'm in BGC. This is some of the homes in between. And then there's Makati. Over here is BGC. So here's my hotel room. This is the Grand Hyatt in BGC. BGC being Buenofacio Global City here in Manila. I'm on the 52nd floor and I used points. Out there you can see Manila Bay. But yeah, it's got a tub in here. Just wanted to show you guys around a little bit. Okay, here's the lobby at the Grand Hyatt. This is actually the lounge. Well, I got some sweet and sour pork. Okay, so we are on the road now here in BGC, Bonifacio Global City, or Bonifacio, I should say. Just outside the Grand Hyatt. Very clean and modern down here. Similar to what you would see in Singapore. Bangkok is also similar to Manila, I would say. They remind me of each other, actually. Showing you guys around here. The vibes. It is the 28th of December, by the way. The weather outside is absolutely perfect. It's not too hot. It's just perfect. Like you can walk without having to worry about overheating or sweating too much. Mega World Uptown Mall. All right, we are now in an area called High Street, right here in BGC, Bonifacio. Still a beautiful day, lightly overcast. We're just kind of cruising around Manila. I'm gonna check out the old town later. And some of the other history along Manila Bay. And Makati, of course. There's Makati Avenue and Ayala. I would say based on what I'm seeing about High Street, it's more like an outdoor Hello, sir. What's that? Oh, it's housing. Yes, sir. It's very, I love it. Thank you, sir. Yes, my friend does real estate. Yeah, I promised her if I buy, I would do with her. But I love it. I, ho I, I think... Yes, I will talk to my friend about that. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, my friend actually works for that company. She would be incredibly pissed off if I bought something and didn't get it from her. But that guy was a nice guy. I mean, I could see why someone would want to live in Manila. It's obviously a very beautiful place. Very beautiful. Great investment. The only thing that you have to keep in mind about living in Philippines or in Manila is the natural disasters. Two that are, well, three that are kind of lingering on the horizon. One is volcanoes. 
Last time I was here, they actually had a volcano that was erupting and it was closing down Manila Airport. The second thing is earthquakes. But many areas have threats of earthquakes, including Tokyo, Mexico City, Los Angeles, San Francisco. So it's not like the worst thing. And then the other thing that's not necessarily truly a big threat, but it's something you'd have to keep on the radar is typhoons. Typhoon season. Although Luzon, Manila, doesn't get impacted by it as much. But anyway, we just kind of walked through High Street there. I don't know how far it goes, but looks like it's got another side here. Beautiful city, though. Manila is truly a gem. I had no idea how nice it really is here. But I'm enjoying my time here. The first time I came to Manila, I was basically around the airport in Newport City. But not even necessarily Newport City. I was kind of in uh, this not so amazing area and I just assumed that was Manila and so I was like oh I gotta get out of Manila so I went to Boracay and Boracay was nice but that was what I thought Manila was this little this what I saw around the airport and now I'm here in BGC headed towards Makati I'm like <laughs> This is an incredible city. Okay. I believe this is called Forbes Town. Right here. Right next to High Street. So High Street turns into this, which is I think called Forbes Town. And what we're going to do now is try and head over towards some of the old town districts before we go to Makati. This is Forbes Town Center here. Just lots of restaurants, right? Now we are on Resol, 3rd Avenue, 26th Street in Resol. This is like a... multi-section, more than just one intersection. It's 3rd Avenue and 26th Street, but that's also Resol Drive right there. All right, we are in Intramuros, the old Spanish walled city here in Manila, just outside of the Palacio de Cobernador. You can see right here, it's like a hotel there. But this is actually the Manila Cathedral. There's many cathedrals. King Charles of Spain. 1788 to 1808. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, Philippines is actually named after King Philip of Spain. We have the cathedral, looks like they're doing a wedding. Nice in here. But the first one is over there. The first one? Yeah, San Agustin. Oh, San Agustin. Because in Tramuros you have a seven churches. Uh -huh. Yes, all destroyed except the San Agustin. Like many structures in Tramuros destroyed except the San Agustin church. Wow, so never destroyed the same yeah, Even during the typhoon or the earthquake? Yes, yes, we, we put a, uh, only the bell tower uh, collapsed in earthquake. 1880. Oh, wow. 1880. Yeah, but in war, it can't destroy. Oh. You see, we have a school for girls there. 
1632. Ah, so this is a UNESCO World Heritage Church, yeah, huh? St. Augustine. Yes. That's your grandpa who takes the, yes, sir, the yes, horse. Sir, yes. And then before, sir, there's a two ball tower. And then that one ball tower so collapsed during 1880 because by the earthquake. Oh, I see. And there's some So we're here at Casa Manila. It's a Spanish house right here in Intramuros. You can see the Chinese writing on the ground. It's a well, huh? What they call the Strado House. Yeah. Because it is Spanish. And that's a hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. Casablanca. Almost like Cebu, huh? <laughs> Cebu City. Okay. Oh, wow. What is it? Like this highest priest house. We yeah. have a gate. This is uh, Archbishop Palace. You see, we have a coffee window, but destroyed in war. And then oh, this museum. side is a church. Then the other one church, and then every 300 meters we have one church. I see. This area of Pedramulo. But the gate of Archbishop over there, because for gate we have a discrimination. We have for Indians, Filipino, we have for highest priest, we have for Spanish, and then we have for Chinese. Oh. One of the prestigious schools. Very prestigious school in Philippines, Ateneo de Manila, and then the national hero is studied this side. High school. And then over there for rich Spanish and then over there for Chinese. No. Oh. Because Chinese live also outside the wall. Only Spanish inside. There are 15 image of Philippine president. Oh wow. Where's but Duterte? In, yeah, but all in all is 17. Rodrigo Roa Duterte already uh, finished uh, last June 13th. So not yet. Maybe next year we put the page there. Which one's the newest one? No, maybe finish her temper. But it's the father. The newest one is Bombong Marcos. The father is Ferdinand Marcos. The and one with the glasses? Uh, the woman with the glasses, she's the first woman president of the Philippines. But the son also a president, Benigno Aquino. We have a sunglasses also. But this one, we have a pecan. And then Marcos, the father of the current president. So right here you can see the old barracks of General MacArthur here, which sat right on the man-made river, which was a moat that went around Intramuros. By the way, Intramuros basically means inside the city or inside the wall of the walled city right here. That's why they call it Intramuros. Intra is inside and Muros is wall. So inside the wall is the city where the Spanish lived. That's where MacArthur at his barracks. They've now turned the man-made river into a golf course. <laughs> this here is where the Japanese lived at the San Diego Gardens from 1942 to 1945 before MacArthur made the other structure his barracks. And then there's a coin maker machine. Coin maker. So that's how they made the money, huh? Yes. During the 1600s? Bulwarks or a big military defense. I see. Your head, sir. Okay. 
Yeah. Over here we have the bonsai garden. Okay, 14 cannons. And then 14 cannons. Okay. So these cannons here at the Spanish fort are actually pointed at Chinese pirates who were coming into the old Manila Bay to do some pirating. And these cannons were pointed at the Chinese pirates. So now we are at Fort Santiago. But now it's a church of technology. And these are old prison cells. Yeah, open maybe January start again the classes because it's a Christmas vacation. So these are old prison cells? Yes, Japanese. And they're stable for us during Spanish time. Oh. Now it's shops. Cafe. Yeah, so the Fort Santiago here was actually a major military installation during World War II. And you can see the walls were actually built by the Spanish. And the rock, or the what they built it out of is adobe, which is like a volcanic ash and some of the sand or dirt from around Manila Bay, but it's a volcanic ash and it looks like a rock, but it's actually really hard adobe. It's like a mud, it's hardened. Plaza de Armas. Last walk of Martyrdom Trail. I feel like
like there's got to be gators in there. Crocodiles or some sort. I don't know if I'd swim in there though. The White Cross represents the resting place of around 600 Filipinos and Americans who were victims of atrocities during the last days of February 1945. It's the last days of the Pacific War. There's a dungeon in here. There was a legend that said that when the tide waters would rise, the prisoners would become drowned or suffocated inside the dungeon. If there was ever like a flood, but they cannot confirm it for a fact. It's interesting how small this entrance is, though. There we go. Exits. Okay, that was a somber experience in there. See how small the exit is inside that dungeon. And we're now off to Chinatown. So you are a brother, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, that's your brother, sir. You're on camera. Bonando? Yes, sir. We are entering in a lava channel. Uh, Chinatown. Because the uh, lava Now we've actually entered into the world's oldest Chinatown, right here in Manila. It's called Bonando, as you can see. Welcome to Manila Chinatown. We'll go for a little walk. 
being able to call yourself the first hotel is very common here in Manila. It's like Intramuros, they're like, first hotel. Chinatown, first hotel. Manila, first hotel. It's like a big selling point, I guess. But yeah, this guy, he said to walk through here where there's food. There's a lot of restaurants here. Sterile fast food. Let's see if I can find something. Are you open, sir? Are you open? Open. Right here? Yeah. Well, I'll try some pan sit at the very least. Here's a look at the menu. Looks like they got frog, huh? Okay. Fresh squeezed lemonade, huh? That's good. So I got fried spare ribs here. Oh wow. Yummy. Hey. So after nice meal. Now I've got to figure out how to charge my phone or get back to my hotel if that's in the cards. Because without my phone, I can't really do much planning. Fried Sia Pao. Must be some good food. It's called Peach Nut. Plenty of jewelry stores. No electronics. Jewelry everywhere. That's what Chinese are known for, I guess. So many jewelers. Chinatown. There's taxis now. Maybe taxis are not allowed in Chinatown. That could be possible. So this is called the tallest building in the Philippines. At the Hyatt. 